All right, one day before second rifle season starts, got up really early in the morning to try and get out here and see if we can see anything here in the morning. Um, I'm still about a couple hours out from the unit we're gonna be hunting. This is a unit that I've hunted in the past for elk. Um, I've had a couple other friends hunt in the past for elk other times of the year. We have a second rifle mule deer tag. It's supposed to snow opening weekend and hopefully that gets the deer moving. See if we can find some tonight and get on them for the morning. All right, we just came into the unit. I'm gonna start trying to do some glassing, see if we can glass up tonight before, before tomorrow morning for opening day. Um, we're starting low, I think it's gonna, gonna try and work a little bit high and uh, just work and see where we can find them. And some nice big buck tracks up here on top, right on top of this knob. It's full of full of sagebrush. All right, we came off the hillside that we were on, ran to a couple other hunters, uh, some uh, a youth hunter for uh, mule deer, and we drove down a little bit and <laughs> went to park. And all of a sudden, about 15 uh, does, one that was even collared, decided to get up and start running down to the north. Um, so they're around here somewhere. I think they're going to be a couple hundred feet higher in elevation. All right, opening morning. Um, it is snowing outside right now. Looks like we might have just a couple inches on the ground. Um, it's probably about 25, 30 degrees out there. And as I'm getting ready here, I just find out that my sleeping bag has these nice little pockets. Or, <laughs> sorry, my tent has these nice little pockets in the top here after I've had this thing for two years now. Cool. All right, we're like uh, 10 minutes into first shooting light and uh, haven't heard anything yet. It is still snowing pretty hard and it looks like it's going to be snowing. If we find some tracks, that means that they've been here within the last two hours. Uh, so it'd be pretty good to follow. All right, it's about like 11.30 now. <laughs> the fog just will not end. Um, it goes away for about 20 minutes, comes back for like an hour. And we've been dealing with it all morning. So I try and get this glass, glass pretty far whenever we do have the opportunity. <laughs> Otherwise it's just making TikToks. <laughs> I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. Well, we decided with the fog to try and get some uh, get some movement on, see if we can get it on a buck. And uh, we got one down. Oh, there's some blood. There's some more. There we go. There he is. Oh. <laughs> oh, first mule deer. I'm very excited.
Wow, what a day. Here's the entry ring right there. Definitely broke his, broke his front shoulder, but not bad. Didn't go 60 yards or so. We ended up finding the bullet. So he was kind of quartering to me. So hit him kind of front shoulder, went clear through both lungs and came out uh, mid body. Not bad. You know what? I think this is actually the first time I've actually had to cut up an animal by myself before in the back of the woods <laughs> without anyone else helping me. Um, we got like a mile back to the truck and camp. So I think I'm gonna try and do it all in one load. It's not too bad. I basically think all four quarters is basically two elk quarters. Um, miscellaneous bag and the head. So it shouldn't be too bad for a mile, but I gotta eat first. Peanut butter for the win. All right, we're making it. Got everything back there. You know what? I think a whole deer is almost as if you're packing out probably two elk quarters and a head. We got like a mile to get back to camp and pack everything up, see if we can get back to Denver before that storm rolls in. Well, as we get right to camp, <laughs> looks like there was two deer that uh, decided to come right through right after I left this morning. All right, driving out. That's the end of the hunt. Surprisingly, the roads aren't too bad from the rain or from the snow yesterday. Um, looks like the, the one hill that was back on yesterday scouting was actually a little bit difficult to get to um, for most trucks, but uh, wasn't too bad coming down the hill. All right, that's a wrap on the 2023 big game season.